So what this bill does is it allows smaller journalistic outlets, and it defines smaller journalistic outlets as those with 1,500 employers, employees or fewer. So it ex- excludes uh, the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal and the Washington Post, for example, because they all have more than 1,500 employees. But smaller outlets can band together and can form a joint group to negotiate with big tech in order to get paid for their content. What you're describing, Senator, actually seems fine. And so, so then my question would be, why derail it? Yeah. So, and it's modeled after what, what happened in Australia, where they did something very similar to it, and, and Facebook said, we're not going to comply. And then like two days later, they said, oh, crap, we need all this content. So now they're paying the local uh, media. So it, it, it was uh, in significant respect successful in Australia. That was the model for this. Um, so this was a bill that was authored by Amy Klobuchar, the Democrat from Minnesota, and John Kennedy, the Republican from, from Louisiana, who's a good friend of mine and a really good guy. Um, and I said at the markup, so I was being lobbied by both sides on this. Big tech hates this bill. So that's, that's a plus. Anything big tech hates, I have a natural inclination to, to like. Um, here's what I said at the markup. I said, when I look at big tech and journalism, the single greatest threat to free speech we have today is big tech censorship. And I don't want anything we do to increase big tech censorship. Moreover, I want anything we do to decrease big tech censorship. And and what this bill did was create an exemption from the antitrust laws. So ordinarily, a bunch of competitors, you can't get all the newspapers in a state to come together and negotiate as one. That violates the antitrust laws. So this bill creates an exemption from the antitrust laws to let them come together and negotiate with big tech. And so I introduced an amendment. I said, The immunity from antitrust under this bill does not apply to any negotiations or agreements concerning content moderation, concerning censorship. In other words, you can get together and negotiate on price. You can say, you got to pay me for, my, for what we're producing. Yeah. But what you can't get together is you can't get a media cartel together with a big tech cartel and say, hey, let's all agree that we will censor any story about Donald J. Trump. And this bill would give that immunity from antitrust laws for them to get together as a cartel and collude to censor more effectively. And so it says, hey, if this is about price, they let them negotiate on price, but censorship should not be a topic that is covered by this bill. And so we vote on it. And All the Republicans vote for me, including John Kennedy. And what John Kennedy says at at the markup, he he says, listen, I want to help the local newspapers and local stations, but I'm not interested in censorship. And and what Cruz is saying seems very reasonable that when they're bargaining, they shouldn't be bargaining about censorship. They should be bargaining about price. So Amy Klobuchar got very angry, begins screaming at John Kennedy in the markup. She's like, we had a deal and you're not, uh, you're not following our deal. He's like, we didn't have a deal to allow censorship. That wasn't our deal. So they're going back and forth and we have a committee vote. Now, here's what's very interesting. One of the Democrats, John Ossoff from Georgia, was not there. He actually had COVID and was in India. So he was out of the country. Um. Normally, if you are absent, if a senator is absent from a markup, your staff can have a proxy to vote for you. So even if you're not physically there, your staff can cast a proxy vote that that counts. Well, Ossoff was not physically there and he had not given his staff the proxy to vote. They didn't have a vote from him one way or the other. So we voted on my amendment. Judiciary Committee has 11 Democrats and 11 Republicans. We voted on it, and the vote was 11 to 10. 11 R's voting yes, and only 10 D's voting no, because Ossoff wasn't there. Dick Durbin, the chairman of the committee, his head explodes. Like, like <laughs> it, it is worth watching how these Dems are just fulminating and spewing, and, and, and they're losing their minds. And then, Michael, what happened next was truly hysterical. Amy Klobuchar says, so my amendment's been adopted. It's now part of her bill. 
And she says, well, if this is in the bill, I can't support my bill. There you go. I no longer. There it is. I no longer support my own bill. Mm -hmm. And she said, and we're going to pull it down. I made clear if you adopt my amendment, I'll vote for your bill. And once the amendment was adopted, I would have voted for it. 